Tanvi Dikshit, your travel companion, and today I'm going on a trip across the beautiful Himachal Pradesh. We are uh, going to start our journey in Shimla. We're going to cross the gorgeous Spiti Valley and end our trip in Manali. And I'm taking you guys along with me. Shimla from Chandigarh right now and when I was crossing this patch, I think this road is called HMT Road. Yeah. Uh, HMT Road is a lot of paths over there, but I saw that it's like a whole line where it's a kind of uh, makeshift shop, okay? And the board tree is with Tani Pitti, Rock Salt and all of that. So I had to stop and explore and check out what it is. So let's go take a look at what all they have for sale here. Where are you from here? Where are you from here? Where are you from here? दाल सब्जी में यूज़ होता है। Okay, guys, this is I have black salt here. Then this is pink salt, which is called senta nama. And ये क्या है? It's green. ये फेस बैक्स वगैरह में यूज़ हो सकते हैं वो जाने क्या आप दाम है इसका ये पचास अलग है इसका टेस्ट ना कुछ फ्लेवर है इसमें to explore the stunning Spiti Valley, you can pick from a number of routes. We chose to start our journey in Shimla and climb up gradually. This gradual climb allows you to acclimatize better to the high altitude and the thinning oxygen. Just making a quick stop at uh, near this town called Solon on my way to Shimla because this viewpoint is just so beautiful. You can hear the clouds behind me. It's so misty and starting to I'm starting to get that pahado wala feel. Chandigarh to Shimla is about 112 kilometers drive. It takes about three and a half to four hours, and the roads are pretty smooth. The only glitch you might face is lots of traffic while entering Shimla. Super scenic drive from Chandigarh. I finally arrived here in Shimla. It's drizzling slightly. The weather is hazy and misty, beautiful. And I just checked into my hotel, which is Meena Bagh Homestay. Now these guys have two properties. One is right in the middle of Shimla town, and one is about 70 kilometers outside. And the property is simply stunning. So I'm staying in this. Quaint three-bedroom cottage, and I have to give you guys a tour of it. Come. This is the very, very colorful and vibrant living area, which has a lot of comfy cushions and couches. You have this small little tea and coffee counter over here, and there's microwave and utensils. So this is the middle area. You have these three different rooms. This is a cute one with twin beds. Then you have this one. Which is so colorful again. I love the elephant quilt. It's so pretty. And finally, this is my master bedroom. <laughs> oh, the bed is so comfy. It even has a bathtub right inside the bedroom. Here at the Indian Coffee House, established in 1957, Indian Coffee House is one of the most iconic eateries in Shimla. This old school cafe boasts of regulars that have been coming here daily, not just for years but for decades. And recently, the coffee house came back in the news because Prime Minister Narendra Modi stopped here to relish a cup of their special filter coffee. Here to take a ride on the iconic Kalka Shimla toy train. I could not be more excited. Come, let's go.
An absolute must-do Ben and Shimla, the Kalka Shimla toy train ride will take you back to those beautiful childhood memories. This journey covers a distance of about 60 miles and passes through many stunning tunnels and over many beautiful bridges. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this rail started in the year 1903. Back when Shimla was the summer capital of the British Empire, this was the only route that provided safe and quick connectivity to Shimla. The Shimla Kalka journey takes about 5 hours and there are only 3 trains in the morning and 3 trains in the evening, so make sure you plan your journey well in advance. The first train leaves from Kalka at 5:10 a.m. and the last train departs from Shimla at 5:50 p.m. The journey will cost you anywhere between rupees 320 to rupees 510. depending upon the category of the train what a beautiful journey this was i highly recommend if you are in shimla take some time out and definitely go on this joy ride we promise you this will be one of the most scenic train journeys you have ever experienced Thank you. I'm standing here at this point which is known believe it or not as Scandal Point. Now there's a very interesting story behind it. Apparently the Maharaja of Patiala eloped with a British viceroy's daughter and the point from where they actually eloped is this point the intersection of the ridge and the mall. And there's a very interesting cafe which is called Scandal Delights over here as well. I found this place where they are actually going to dress me up in traditional Himachali attire. इसको क्या बोलते हैं? एक पट्टू होता है, शॉल होता है, कुंडू वाला। पट्टू क्या? Just discovered that Shimla's Mall Road is full of tiny little cafes. This entire street behind me, I can see so many tiny cafes here. There's Hideout Cafe, Wake and Bake, 37 The Central. So I'm going to go ahead and explore as many cafes as I can. Come along with me. My personal favorite out of all the cafes here is this cute cozy little place called Wake and Bake. They serve a bunch of bakes and delicious coffees so whenever you're visiting the mall make a quick stop here. Shimla's Mall Road is also a great spot for shopping. Here you will find everything right from branded stores to local outlets selling locally made goods. Uh ye specialty hai na idhar ka Specialty ye kullu patti hamara symbol hai. Okay. Jo Ludhiana made jo hota hai wo aapka one side matlab jo front and back side jo hota hai but this is a weaving one ye dono side ek jaisa ho. Okay ha uski specialty hai. Ye hai. 
I am here uh, shopping at this store called Exclusive Shimla Shawls, and here the two most uh, authentic Himachali things that you can buy is this Kulu shawl and the Kulu topi. Now the most uh, exciting thing about the Kulu shawl is that it is totally hand woven. There is absolutely no machine work involved in this. So if you are out here in Shimla shopping for some. Exotic Himachali stuff. Definitely go for the Kulu shawl and the Kulu topi. The shawls are priced at rupees six hundred. But now it's forty off. With discount six hundred and two hundred. Standing in front of one of the most iconic structures in Shimla, the Christ Church. Did you know that this church is the second oldest church in North India? Today is my last day in Shimla, and how could I leave this beautiful city without trying out at least one authentic Himachali meal, right? So I am here at Himachali Rasoi. Chalo, let's dig into some Himachali fare. Okay, so I've placed the order for my food. I have ordered the Mandiali Dham Thali, which has a lot of Himachali uh, sags and sabzis, and I've also ordered uh, a, uh, an order of Sidhu and Babru. So while I wait for the food to get ready, which they are making fresh, so it will take around 15 to 20 minutes for the food to get ready. So till then, I have ordered uh, this. Warm beverage called Kangri Cha, which is like a herbal tea preparation. Is me jata hai dal chini, mullet hi, long. It is a preparation that is very very good if you are suffering from a cold or cough. So I am starting off with this and just waiting for my meal to arrive. Yeah, and then it's cooked grind. Kya hai? Kya kya is me? Is me hai jaise hara dhania hai aur khade masale, jeera hai, dhania hai. कस्तूरी मेथी है तो मसाले इसमें डाले हुए और ये ज़्यादातर लोग जो है ना इसको सर्दियों में खाते हैं जैसे यहाँ पे ठंड होती है ना तो ये गर्म रखता है शरीर को हम इसमें घी भी लगा सकते हैं और ये हमारा स्टीमर है अब इसको हम 20 से 25 मिनट बाद करके दे देंगे Okay, my food has finally arrived and it looks delicious. Okay, so this thali, it has uh, four different types of um, sags or sabzis. There is uh, one with pumpkin. There's something with lentil. There's one with spinach. There's a curry. There's chawal. And there's a very interesting pumpkin and dry fruit sweet dish, okay, in it. And then I have my sweet siddhu, my uh, savory babru, and uh, to finish to accompany my uh, meal, I have this warm lassi, which is known as reheru here, okay. So I'm going to start with this. It's a very spicy, almost just like drinking a curry, kind of like that. Very interesting flavor combination. Hmm. All right, should we begin to the meal? Hmm. You know the thing I'm noticing about Himachali food is that the flavors are very subtle. Like no curry here is like very very heavy on their spice level. They're very very subtle, but flavorful at the same time. And there's like the, all of them are loaded with ghee, which is I think perfect for this you know cold weather. Now I'm trying out Sidhu and Babru. दोनों के अंदर खसखस का फिलिंग जाता है एक के अंदर इज खसखस विद ड्राई फ्रूट्स एंड इन दी अदर वन इज खसखस विद सम लेंटल्स टू मेक इट सेवरी सिद्धू इज एक्चुअली अ स्टीम्ड बन ओ वाओ अनलाइक एनीथिंग आई एवर ट्राइड बिफोर हम्म 
so many bow places I go to. Hands down, they need to take a lesson how to actually make a steamed bun from here. It's amazing. Now I'm trying out the babru. I mean, this is very nice. Flavors of dhania, green chili, and they've given me a nice um, green chutney also to go along with it. I see a lot of khaskhas, I see a lot of dry fruits, yogurt. I think all of these foods are really important. They kind of complement this cold weather. I'm especially, especially enjoying the rare root. This warm lassi is like, you know, in this climate, you don't really want a chilled beverage. So this is like a great, great accompaniment with your meals. This is honestly, I'm mind blown with the uh, lassi. I've never, I never even thought that there existed a beverage which is a warm lassi. This is mind blowing. And finally, let's finish off with the pumpkin dry fruit um, sweet dish. Mm. Oh wow! Mm. There's a it's again perfectly sweet, and there's a very nice flavor of what I think is soft, soft apple guys. Hmm. Mm. Buddy lychee and soft, which is giving a very refreshing flavor to the, you know, sweet dish. Amazing. Mind blown with this food. While walking around the mall road, I stumbled upon this cute little place called Honey Hut Cafe that serves a bunch of honey specialties. From honey lattes to honey shakes, I recommend you grab a quick honey drink and maybe a snack here. And if you guys didn't know this, to reach Shimla's Mall Road, you can either walk up the steep slopes or simply take a lift. This lift takes tourists from the lower points to the top of the Mall Road. You'll have to purchase a ticket of Rs 8 to ride the elevator, but I recommend you definitely ride the lift at least once as it is an experience in itself. I really hope you had fun exploring the Queen of Hills Shimla with me, your travel companion Tanvi Dikshit. I will be back with the next episode of my journey through the Spiti Valley. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.